The day we finally made it to Fololi was past Christmas Day. It was cold and pouring rain. It was a weeknight, and it was I that suggested going on this adventure to my family. In the back of my mind, I was doubting whether I should have suggested it, whether it would be worth all this trouble, whether they will have fun in this cold and rainy weather. But all my worries disappeared once we arrived at Fololi. It was decorated beautifully everywhere. There were more Christmas trees than you can count. Lots of decor inspirations for your next holiday party. I kept wishing the weather was better so we could enjoy the gardens and the sunset. That was what I envisioned in my head before going on this day. In the end, I still really enjoy the festive atmosphere and this special experience together. <laughs> this trip is definitely one of my favorite memories of 2021. In this new year, I want to work on being more mindful about how I'm spending my time and who I'm spending my time with. For me, it's not about becoming more efficient. It's about doing more of the things that I love. If you ever felt like you never had enough time to do things that you love, I will highly recommend doing a time audit on how you're spending your time on a daily basis. Right now is also the perfect time to do a past year review. It's Tim Ferriss' end-of-year review process on how we've spent our time in the last year and how we can fill the new year with people and activities that nourish us the most. After going through my list, I saw that most things on my peak negative emotions list are activities that are superficial and engagements that were made out of guilt. Activities at the top of my peak positive emotions list almost always included connecting with people I care about through nature or shared activities like painting, exploring a new place, or having a photo shoot together. These are the things I want to do more of this year. Doing more things that are inspiring and nourishing rather than depleting. Building deeper relationships with people I care about. Sometimes it can feel so stifling doing the same things every day. For this new year, I wish everyone good health and more time to do things that you love. Write that song you've been wanting to write or enroll in that ceramic class you've been wanting to try. Even better if you get to share that with the people you love. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.